All right, we're live. Hey, you guys. Hello. I'm, I'm going to give it a second to catch up because I know sometimes it's uh, delayed a little bit. Yes. So I'll let it catch up and mind. stuff. Um, if you guys could give me a five by five, though, and let us know when it's going, that would be wonderful. It's turned on mine now. Is it? Okay. All right. Awesome. It looks like we are good to go. Okay. Um, how's everybody doing today? Um, I'm going to be a little bit honest with you guys today. Um, today's just been kind of a bad day for me. Um, I've just been a little bit depressed, a little stressed out, uh, with a lot of things. So I'm not going to be my normal, probably not my normal, um, happy self, but I will try. Um, can you guys, yeah, five by five, simply Tony. Okay. Thank you. I just want to make sure the mic was working good. Um, uh, let's see. First, um, I guess I'll say hi to you guys first and stuff. I'm going to let you guys get in here before we really start doing much more talking. Um, Bama Jen was in here first, so congrats on that. Um, hey, Random JL, Okicon, Ed, Simply Tony. Uh, I'm trying to see if I'm missing anybody here. I'm trying to go back up. Uh, Kevin Ramsey, good to see you. Um, Minuteman was in here too. I don't know if he's back or not. Um, if, if you're in here, I'm still praying for you mm -hmm. and praying for you too, Kevin Ramsey. Um, hey, Katrinka, good to see you. Uh, Blackbird, uh, welcome, welcome all of you guys. Michigan Outpost, thank you so much for being here, Ed. Um, really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys, anybody wants to jump up here on panel, um, I've got the link posted. It's a pinned comment in there. So you guys uh, go ahead. We, we, yeah. Uh, today we don't really have any, any like certain topics to talk about. I think we're going to kind of just jump all over the place. Uh -huh. If you guys have something you want to talk about, go ahead and uh, put it in chat or something and try to put it in all caps or something. So it'll be easier for us to catch on here. Um, Sometimes the, screen, the screen, screen, sometimes the screen's a little hard for me to see it. So all caps would help a little bit just here. Um, I'll give you guys this reminder at the end of the video too, but I'm going to um, go ahead and remind you guys that on the 8th, Monday, we are going to do a uh, solar eclipse watch live stream. Um, we are in the area of totality and... So we're going to, we talked about this last week, I believe it was, we were going to have to go somewhere to watch it. And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. I'm like, it should pass right over the front of our house. And sure enough, it does. So we're going to uh, just do it from the front yard and we're just going to chit chat and I'll have a camera showing on that too. And, we don't have to deal with crowds. Yeah. And so I'll just have a camera showing for that and we can just watch it together and just have a good time and stuff together. Um, and that'll be like, I don't know what time I'm going to start the live stream. It'll probably be around 12 or 1230 or something like that. Then I said it's supposed to be cloudy there where she's at. If, it's supposed to be cloudy here in Texas too. So I don't know. This is a weird thing. I think like in February, they were uh, calling, they were, they, I, I didn't realize this until mm, a few days ago, maybe a week ago, but like in February, they were saying that Texas was going to be cloudy for the eclipse. So I'm not a hundred percent sure how good it is going to be. It's going to really kind of suck if it is cloudy because um, I'm not, I don't think that I have ever personally seen a total solar eclipse. Maybe when I was a kid. I don't know. Um, I know it's not a super big deal. And some people are like, you know, getting tired of hearing about it and stuff. But uh, supposedly, um, if my information is accurate, we're not going to be, able, at least in Texas. I don't know about any other parts of the United States. But at least in Texas, we're not going to have another total solar eclipse for uh 40 years or 20 years maybe 20 20 or 40 i thought 40. i thought i had seen 40 years <laughs> i'm not sure about the rest of the united states um 
Yeah, Coffee First Death was my question was how on earth did they know it was going to be cloudy that far in advance? They well, can't even get they can't even get the uh weather right like a day or two in advance. Well, it I, changes. I, I I saw a meteorologist who said that he doesn't understand why they started doing seven day forecasts because it's uh, it's a crapshoot. Exactly. And that's what, like, even a couple days before, it might say rain or so, like 60% chance of rain. And then the day before, they change it and 0% chance or something. I, I don't understand how they do that. And supposedly, they had determined in February it was going to be cloudy on that day. That kind of makes me wonder anybody, if they're going to be manip manipulating the weather or something to make yeah. it. So, I don't know. I mean, but has anybody heard the term wagon? W A G, wild ass guess. Uh, you know what a swag is? What? S W A G? Yeah. That's a scientific wild ass guess. Oh, okay. That's what the meteorologists do. Yeah, yeah. But um, so I don't know how it'll be, but we will find out and we will still try to, we'll still live stream. And even if there's not much to see, but. Like I said, I haven't, I don't remember ever seeing one, like I said, maybe when I was a kid, but I don't remember. So I'm just, you know, I, I, I thought it would, I think it would be kind of cool. Yeah, I've seen and, partials you know, and stuff. Uh, but. From 1977 to 2019, I worked outside of the flight line, so I saw a lot of spectacular sunrises sunsets and some partial clips yeah that's true you you worked out and that stuff and got to see it um we, we will talk about some different things with the eclipse and stuff like that but and go back to the other thing i i just i'm just excited to see it um and i'm really glad we don't have to go anywhere if you guys are driving to go see it uh, i would be home, very very careful um there's a lot of things that they're saying could happen, a lot of things going on, whether any of it's true. Well, I think but yeah. there is a possibility. There's a lot of possibilities, but one oh, is it's if road people road. yeah, and there's a lot of traffic. And when you when you when you're in a big city and you've got like double what that city normally has of for people in it, it's always a recipe for disaster. And well, if you're, in. if everybody's looking up, it's a good time for somebody to do something malicious or something. Yeah. So just keep your guys' heads on a swivel. You know, you guys are watching this video. So obviously you're in the prepared community. You're, you know, like-minded. You understand about prepping and getting ready for whatever may happen. Yep, yep. You know, so. And, and, you know, if you've ever been to anything like that, uh, uh, an event where there's a lot of people, uh, football game, concert, mm -hmm. uh, watching fireworks, watching an air show. When it's over and everybody is so trying to make a mad dash to get out of there and you're not going anywhere fast. Mm -hmm. And some people get really mad and there might be thin defenders and there might be some rage going on. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, um, some people are actually going to be able to see the eclipse that saw it in 2017, since it's uh, doing a X in the middle of the um, United States, uh, some people are going to be able to see it both times and stuff. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think it, I think it's cool. It didn't, no, it didn't come through Texas last time. So yeah, this time I'm pretty excited maybe, about it. I, I'm thinking maybe we could have seen a little bit of, you know, like. Well, here's the thing, you guys. Uh, pretty much anywhere that you're at in the United States, you'll see some part of it. It's just whether you get the totality and we're stuff. A little bit uh, darker, but not. Completely yeah, darker. like I mean, most of the United States will see some partials and stuff, but only certain parts. And, and the crazy thing is, though, the part that has totality is actually a big stripe. I mean, yeah. it's like you know, quite. Quite large and stuff. So, um, uh, and also think about say if it is cloudy, mm -hmm. um, and in our front yard where there's no lights, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Imagine how dark it's going to get with the total eclipse and clouds. Yeah. Um, I now about all the stuff that's going to be happening. Well, that they say is going to be happening. Um, again, I'm going to just do a little disclaimer here that anything that we're talking about today is not we're not saying anything is going to happen we're not uh 
you know, it's just, it, these are all just possibilities. It's kind of almost like our scenarios, only we're not really doing a scenario today, but it, it's just possibilities. So anything that I tell you about what is po what is possibly going to happen is not a guarantee. I'm not a uh, fortune teller. Mm -hmm. I can't see into the future or anything. So I don't know. But uh, I do know that I want to try not to do any fear mongering. Like Bama Jen said, fear mongering. Um, a lot of other people are doing that. Uh, my look at it and the way I want to do it is I just want you to be prepared just in case. Just, just be prepared. So um, it wouldn't hurt you to fill up your gas tanks before Monday. Um, oh, that, that's not a bad, bad idea. I mean, any time. It, yeah, I mean, I don't like to keep my gas tank under half a tank. That's just me personally. Um, <laughs> just in case you have to get out or do something quickly, I like to have it, you know, topped off and stuff. So that's an idea. Just make sure you do that. Um, well, make then, sure then if you got the CERN going on. Thing yeah, thing. we're going to talk about CERN in just a little bit. Um, um, I saw that, I think, Damagen, maybe said that the uh, peppers aren't going to be sacrificed at, pe at uh, Passover. Uh, does that mean it's been indefinitely postponed or just postponed temporarily? Yeah, um, if anything happens, it will be man-made. That, that's a very good um, possibility. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, different conspiracies, a lot of things going on. Um, yeah, that's a good... Uh, Mother taught me to top off at a half a tank. That's really good. Um, because you never know. You might be out somewhere and there's no gas stations. Or, you'd never know. Um, with what's going on with the oil reserve and stuff, uh, gas prices might skyrocket. We might run out of gas. Um, oh, yeah. there's a bunch of things that hey, can you happen. Keep your gas tank too low. Uh, condensation and water can get into the gas tank. Yeah, and yeah. if you live in colder areas and stuff, your gas tank could freeze and stuff too during colder weather. Um, because I'm from Michigan, so that's what we were always told is to at least make sure it was at a quarter tank. But I try to look no lower than a half a tank. Um, well, we also, get, just make sure points. you guys we get we get the points with Brookshire so we get a discount. So we, we try to wait till it has uh, not enough points accumulated. Yeah, let's talk about uh, saving money sometimes. Uh, in a world where it seems like everything is going up in price and there are no savings, there are some good ways you can do savings. Um, how, how much did it cost us this last time when we filled up? Uh, I think it was 225 or something like yeah. that, somewhere around there. Um, but it was 304, we just got a discount. Oh, okay. Uh, are you coming back? Well, I thought I heard dump outside and it's investigating. Oh, I think it was the dog. No. Uh, Bama Jen said the rabbi said they won't be sacrificed on the 23rd for fear of war and safety. Of all the people involved and the heifers, they have six months to sacrifice them before they're too old. Yeah, um, I believe the people were talking about that was what happened in October uh, when they were attacked and stuff, that it was over yeah, the half I don't, I, I don't know a hundred percent, but that's, I that's that, what I had heard. I, 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 reason, think, I would so. say that's plausible, but um, because that was something else I wanted to talk about that that is going to be uh, very interesting if that comes to play. Um, and a lot of people are like, well, they're not going to, sacrifice heifers because it says in the Bible that, you know, we don't sacrifice anymore. That's correct. We don't sacrifice anymore. But the Jews don't believe that Jesus was the Messiah and that he came back. So they are still going by Old Testament law. In Old Testament law, they have to um, Yeshua. they have to um, sacrifice red heifers and also in order for them to build the new temple, I believe, I, I could be wrong. Bama Jen can correct me on this if I'm wrong. They have to sacrifice the heifers in order to purify all the stuff that yes, they're, 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 they're cleansed, they're, um, the building materials and things like that to get it built. Um, yep, keep your tanks filled. Um, back to just being prepared a little bit and stuff. Um, hmm. Make sure, I mean, you guys all should have 
enough more than three days worth of food stocked up. Um, the thing that's really weird to me is that the government and different cities and different things are doing declarations of um are of emergency and stuff and saying and putting out alerts to people to have at least three days of food and three days of water and stuff saved up. Why on earth are they saying that? Because they've never yeah ever done like, anything like that before. I find it very odd. We're not done per se. But yeah, but the sacrifice cleanses the entire nation of Israel, so they think. Um but yeah. right now hey little loan proper, good to see you. Right now, with our new purchases, we got 1,200 gallons of water accumulated. Yeah. So um, that's another thing. We got ours off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. So there are deals to be found in different things. So you guys just need to look around and find them. Yeah, basically, if what I was trying to say, it uh, allows for the building of the temple. They have... Something about uh, doing that cleanses all their tools and stuff that they use and cleanses the temple or something. Um, now, it's not act, this, this is not what needs to be done to do it, but that's what they feel needs to be done. Uh, because uh, Jesus came and he died on the cross for us, rose three days later. He was the lamb that was sacrificed for all of us for our sins. So we don't have to sacrifice animals anymore. But like um, I said, they still go by Old Testament. I don't know. I didn't notice for sure. But I think maybe uh, they might have to rebuild the bridge across the valley that goes from Mount Olive to Temple Mount. And I think that's the... the Direct. Also, yeah, the uh, doorway that Jesus is supposed to come through when he returns is blocked. So they have to change that. Yeah, I heard that they're doing strange um, experiments by shooting things into the eclipse, weird stuff. I heard that they were uh, wanting to shoot off some rock, some stuff into the yeah, and I, stuff. I and I. I don't remember. Have they ever I done that before? Uh, I don't. I possibly, maybe, but yeah, I've seen something about there that NASA's going to do something. Mm -hmm. Um. Now about this CERN thing, and I don't know how to say this. Hydro. How do you say the word? Uh, the uh, scope. So super glide. Yeah, hydro. Whatever super it is. Glide. Um. I I find it very odd. Again, that they're doing it on April 8th. Um, it, I actually I just find everything odd that they're doing everything on April 8th, but yeah. maybe it's some kind of distraction to keep us from seeing what is really going on. There's always that possibility. Um, now I'm not uh, super worried about it because. I don't know how to say any of this without um they're just dumb let me just put it that way um what they're trying to do is they're trying to find some thing called the god particle um they are playing that they are god and they're they're basically gonna be opening up a portal to the spiritual realm and stuff and some people some scientists have actually quit because of what they saw and different things like that. I'm not worried about that because we can't just open up a portal like that. Well, okay, let me take this back. Demons can come through it, but I'm not worried because a demon's not going to affect me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not scared of them because I have Jesus. So but, I, I'm not worried about that. But I am worried about a lot of people that don't have Jesus. And and that's what I've been really, it's been put on my heart a lot. And I'm sorry that this, uh, no, I'm not sorry. I was going to say, I was going to say, I'm sorry that this stream has been so much talk about God and Jesus, because I try to keep that separate from the prepping stuff, but I'm not going to apologize for that because I've been feeling a lot lately that things are getting really close to happening and that enough not enough people 
not enough people um, have God in their heart, and I'm just worried for them and for their souls. It was like and, that. And I was a big fan. Hey, well, Neil, to no one. Good to see you. I did well in high school history. I had an interest in history, and I'm I'm well. Uh, I'm interested to see what goes down in the sense of historical context, uh, not fear, but curiosity, because also uh, the CERN, um, I'm not worried. Everything's already been preordained. Uh, nothing will happen unless God wants it to happen. Whoops. Hey, Moonsprout, good to see you. Um, the other thing with the eclipse, now I'm not saying for sure, some of this stuff is just really weird what they're saying, but supposedly an eclipse can cause earthquakes and things like that. Well, you know, I don't, the, yeah, I don't know. Uh, having the sun and the moon lined up in the gravitational pull and people have been freaking out at Yellowstone, the, the super volcano. Like, mm -hmm. like me, I, I'm, I, I, it's just going to be interesting to see what happens to me. Uh, yeah. I think not yeah, people thing. better get right with God. I absolutely agree. And thank you, Katrinka, for that. Don't apologize for that. It's important. Yes, yeah. I started I started to apologize. And that's why I was like, you know what? I, I'm not going to apologize for who I am. If if you don't like that, then there's other channels out there for you. Uh, we, we believe in God and we want to help as many people um, get saved and know know where they're going so then you won't have as you won't be afraid mm -hmm. like i'm not afraid of what's coming up and stuff but i am a little bit stressed out about do i have everything that i need i need more of this stuff because although i know that i'm going to heaven and i'm not afraid of any of that i don't want to go right now because i'm more worried about like family members and kid the kids and things like that i need to be here for them so i i want to stay as long as i can and make sure everybody is okay you know what i'm saying so it worries me a little bit that i just don't have as much time as we thought we did before things start getting mm. really bad and uh, yeah i'm at <clears throat> i'm at peace uh i like i say it's been preordained uh i will i will uh, I'll walk the path that god and jesus want me to uh, oh, go ahead. Finish. Uh, all things are possible in Jesus' name. Uh, but I'd like to have a, a little bit of a heads up clue. Well, what's going to happen next? What do you, What does he want me to do? Sorry, I'm having a problem with the comments with StreamYard right now. So, okay. <laughs> it was giving me a little bit of a issue there. Um, yes, we do need to pray for everyone here, and even people that aren't here need to pray for everyone. Um, yeah, like said, I'm not scared, but I'm ready if something does happen. Um, I agree with that. It's just um, so many people think they can get to heaven without Jesus, and people in other happen. religions. Yeah, exactly. Um, there's only one way to heaven. The only, um, the only way to the Father is through the Son. Mm -hmm. The only way. Yes. Hey, Christy. Good to see you. Oh, I'm glad that you are here. Um, right now, we're just kind of chatting. We're not, we don't have any specific topics. We're just kind of talking a little bit about everything here. Mm -hmm. And again, you guys, if anyone wants to jump up here on panel with us, feel free to do that. There is a link pinned for you guys. Oh, we love jump up here. Join us so we can have a spirited discussion. Mm -hmm. And I guess this is a good time to say, um, if you guys haven't liked the video yet, please do that. And if you guys aren't subscribed, please think about subscribing. We would love to get to 1,000 subscribers before the, the before the world <laughs> before the world goes kabooey. So, yeah, that's our goal to reach 1,000 before uh, we have no more world left so <laughs> hey the widow's diary and artist and poet good to see you I, i'm uh, looking forward to seeing that the civil war movie yes uh I, I forgot what day that's on i think 
it comes out probably next Friday or something. Um, yeah, we are going to probably go and watch that and then we'll probably do a review. We'll talk about it on a live stream or something like that. It's got a bit, it has to be better than Obama's movie. Oh gosh, coffee first. You look like a hot mess right now. No, nah, it's fine. You know, you can always put it with your camera off too, but that's just yeah, an yeah. option. You don't have to put it with the camera on. Just so we can hear your voice. And yeah. Order. And but um, all and, God's creatures are, are beautiful. In there. But, but I completely understand what she's saying because yeah. I've done the same thing for other people's live streams and stuff. It's like, you know, my hair is a mess or my makeup and it's like, I just, I have to look good before I well, go on, like, you know. I don't like to be seen without my hat on since I'm hair challenged. Hair challenge. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's kind of. Um, and then again, just a reminder, um, we are going to try to live stream. Well, we will live stream whether we get a good view of the eclipse or not. It yeah. can be seen, but we will live stream. Um, I think they're going to be at. We're either going to start at twelve or twelve thirty on Monday, so yeah. you guys just kind of look out for that. I don't know how many people will yeah. actually because it's during the day. It's True. kind of a different we thing. Can, but maybe chit chat. I don't know if we can get people up on the panel, but uh, maybe we'll figure out how to play some music, which is you know, uh, it, it's going to be a live stream. Mm -hmm. It'll just kind of be a fun thing. Yep. Like, oh. Yeah, sorry, I was just reading the comments. Yes, we are in whoops, wrong one. Yeah, we are in the birth pains, and they mm -hmm. start out gentle and far between, and they get more severe and closer. Yeah, and you know, I have no idea how much longer before the tribulation starts, I have no idea how much longer before the rapture starts. Uh, or not starts, but before we have the rapture, um, I do know it's going to be a few years until then, but uh, yeah, Kevin, I, I, I put I put the video up at like the at four o'clock or something for this, and I put on there and I and I put the StreamYard link for it, so you knew about it two hours ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, I, I was uh, I cut off all my hair and was shaving my head for a while. And then I got a wild hair to let like little hair I had run, grow wild. Mm -hmm. Um, something else I wanted to talk about because, like I was saying earlier, that I was just having one of those days and stuff like that. Um, do you guys ever get kind of? Let me see how to say this. Like what you said earlier, ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Like I you sometimes get, wish I was. We weren't so smart. Uh, not saying intelligence well, smart, but smart. like smart to what's happening in the world. Be aware, um, be awake, not woke, but awake as to what is going on and stuff. Because there's some times where I wish, you know, man, I just need a vacation. I just want to go and do this. But it's like, yeah, but I don't want to spend that money on that because I could use it for this prep and stuff. And um, I just lately I've been feeling and I've just been feeling kind of down and depressed about that kind of stuff a little bit and stuff. That's kind of like at one point, uh, instead of the amount of money it cost us to move here, we could have gotten a house in Florida that's fully furnished uh, with a pool, but a very small yard for about what we spent here. But uh, just... Uh, well, that's the thing, too. We're, like, kind of secluded back here. It's a little small town and stuff, but we've got some land, and it's pretty. We've got a lot of trees and stuff like that, but we're also far away from stuff. Like, the nearest Walmart is about 20 miles away, maybe 15, 15, 20 miles away. But other than that, there is hardly anything around here, like any kind of stores, any kind of malls. There's just nothing. Um, I mean, when FACF happens, it, it won't make any difference. But in the meantime, the one thing I said I, I, I miss about living in a large town is different restaurants. Yeah, see, um, the, the acreage is what is really nice. We have the land to do some things. It's not as much as I wanted, but, you know, it wasn't bad for the price. Like, 
Acreage is really expensive. And then we were, we got a VA loan. So they're really picky about the houses that you have with the land. Like, I mean, extremely picky about it. And if it's not like in tip top shape, and although they, this one wasn't because of the, no, we didn't, find but out we didn't that, know so that we they assumed that so it was great. Got everything fixed. Yeah. They assumed that it was great because it was a, not a new build. It was a rebuild, but they started from the bottom so up, it so, all the way down yeah. and rebuilt it. And um, because there were some uh, properties that we liked that had like thirty acres and stuff, but they had like like a trail around them and a mobile home. And but some of them honestly, were shape, but the end said no. I am not saying anything negative against mobile homes at all because some of these were absolutely beautiful inside. And I grew up living in a trailer park when I was in junior high and stuff, so I'm not saying anything negative. But I unfortunately, have- the VA will not qualify for a house like that so for a mobile home i mean so. some of those mobile homes uh were nicer than most of the houses i've lived in mm-hmm. yeah they were really nice and, and I kind of lived in any yeah mm-hmm. i was just looking at here oh, I mean, oh insurance frowns on mobile homes yeah that too and uh, we, plus I, being in texas um if we did have a mobile home, we would have to have a storm shelter or something like that just to be on the safe side. Uh, I made a side. mistake yesterday. Uh, I We were in, the, uh, was it yesterday? I don't know. What Tropic are you Springs. When we were, um, yesterday we were in Tyler. Yeah, we were in Tyler, yeah. Anyway, the last time we were in Sulphur Springs, I, oh, yeah, because we just went to Walmart. Uh I don't know if anybody knows Atlas. Uh, Shelter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. We were yeah, based to... out of Sulphur Springs. It's 20 miles from here, 23 miles. Uh huh. Yeah, a couple days ago, we went out there to um, to see uh, Atlas uh, Survival Shelters, their their headquarters and stuff, because it's not that far from here. And, and... I, got to, I got to meet Ron. Uh huh. Yeah, and he was great. It seemed like he was busy. Uh, yeah. He got a lot of stuff going on over there, probably really busy and stuff. He was but, busy, but he was very accommodating. Yeah. And we got to walk in a couple of them. They were way better, I, I, even nicer than I thought they would be. Yeah, but now the problem is uh, we both want one, so. Yeah. Yeah, so the, we got we to win the lottery or something like that. Yeah, the Powerball is over a billion dollars right now. Mm-hmm. I, I yeah. we we can buy a few thousand acres and it might be greens over. That's what we were talking about. We were having like this, like this, like envision. Yeah, we were having this fantasy or something, and we we're talking about buying a a place that had a bunch of acres. Like we're talking like thousand acres or something, yeah. and then putting up like little uh, small houses, well, cabin like, type things and stuff uh, on. The property and everybody can go and stay and we yeah. can create our own bag and have like almost their own little beering yeah. community well, and a community stuff. Bunker, uh-huh. uh, a restaurant, uh, a lake, um, a church. Horse stable. Horse horse stable. Horses. I mean, oh my gosh. If, if you could think of it, we, we were thinking about doing it. I was like, man, we got to win that big lottery because that would just be awesome. We'd have our own yeah. little community. Yeah. We'd have our own mag and we could, you know. We'd have some walls around us and stuff to protect us and everything. And we had some great ideas with that and, and stuff. So. People could uh, contribute a little bit of labor and just a little bit of money to help with the property taxes on it. <laughs> We're like two, three hundred dollars a month. You got your ticket already. <laughs> um yeah. Um, what else do you guys want to talk about? Uh did you have anything? You were well, I about. was kind of wanting to go on a little bit of a rant. Okay. Um, about America. What's going on in America right now? What's going on with the politicians? What's going on between the left and the right? <laughs> and then I was looking at the, the uh, Declaration of Independence. And I, I, I'll try to make this quick and not bore. Um, and I was reading, it says, the, uh, it says, we hold these truths as self-evident. All men are created equal, and they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Well, unalienable rights is not transferable to another or not capable of being taken away or denied. 
And also governments are, it also said governments are instituted among men deriving their power from the consent of the governed. And wherever any form of government that is, becomes destructive, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. And also it is a right, or it, is they, it is their duty to throw off such government. Uh, we, uh, our, our founding fathers uh, believed in God. Mm -hmm. believed that the people had rights that were given to them by God, not given to them by the government. The government works for the people. It's like if you guys saw um, the video that John Proper Nation put out just a little while ago and stuff, and he was talking about like basically government overreach, uh, trying to track and stuff like trying to track where we are, wanting to know about your animals, your chickens, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the government is starting to, well, not starting to, they've been doing it for quite a while, but they're really, really stepping way too far in. It's like, can't you just leave me alone and let me live my life? Uh -huh. Like whatever that means to me, you know what I'm saying? Let me just try to enjoy, you know, everything that you're doing to destroy this country and destroy everything, but just let me be, don't, don't be tracking me. Don't, don't care how many, what garden I have or how many chickens I have. Hey, it's really none of your damn business. This is well, it's my all, property. It's my land. Let me do what I want with it. You know, it's kind of uh, the, the constitution and the Bill of rights. Uh, we're not designed to uh, control the people. They were designed <laughs> To control the government, and it, is it just me? Um, when I was growing up, it seemed like we were all Americans. We all had the same goals. We just had different paths to get to that goal. It just seems to me like one side now uh, believes that our white our rights are inalienable; they cannot be taken away. Our rights are given to us by God. And other people see themselves as godlike, and they want us to not worship God. They want us to worship them. Mm -hmm. And that's another form of an antichrist. Uh -huh. they, they, they want, you know, um, like it's not the antichrist. So I'm definitely not saying anyone in particular is the antichrist. That is yet to be, um, we'll know about that sometime probably in our lifetimes probably in the near future the way things are going and i, I think our, our our country is headed down a path that needs to be right and it's not going to be an easy thing to do mm -hmm. and if we do, but if we don't every american needs to stand up and say no more mm -hmm. uh, unless we say no more our country will go down like the Romans and every other. Again, another disclaimer, we're not calling for violence or calling for anything to do anything, but people need to just stand up. They need at least contact Congress, you know, um, your governor, your, your city, local, you know, those kind of things and let your voice be heard. I know yes. some people say, well, my voice doesn't matter. They do what they want. Well, uh, that's a possibility. Same thing with some people say the elections are rigged and, you know, my vote, my vote doesn't count anyway. So why should I do it? That's possible. But if you don't try, you know, if you just let it go, then aren't you kind of part of the problem too, you know, um, because you're being complacent about it. I don't want to be hyperbolic. What do you call that? I have no idea what you're trying to say. Um, um, inflammatory, but um, it I see a correlation between Nazi Germany and the people that did not say no, this is wrong. Yeah, uh, another thing I think that property taxes should not 
We shouldn't have property taxes. What is? Yeah, we wouldn't be struggling so bad if we didn't have to pay five hundred dollars a month property tax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our property taxes are ridiculous. I don't think they're five hundred. I think it's more like four hundred, but still, that's pretty dang high. Mm -hmm. Um, and then even once your property is paid off, you still have to pay property taxes mm -hmm. on it. Yeah, and that just makes no sense. To me, uh, like, uh, uh, taxes in general don't make any sense to me. I, I thought that they were created for uh, war efforts or something, and then they were supposed well, to be just about every tax that's ever been created. Uh, the reason they were created for is no longer, and uh, yeah, so they should have been done with it, they should have abolished it by now, but no, and said so they're abolishing dumb things that they shouldn't be. I, I don't know what's happening. I can say that this year, we're just barely at the beginning of April. Um, a lot has already happened this year, um, and the year is not even half over. Oh, yeah, we've got, we got to the 15th to file our taxes. Yeah, well, I don't know why, because we don't get anything back. Uh, last year, they stole from us. We They oh, wound up giving us $50 back. No, 60. Last year, we were supposed to get $7,200 back. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't come in, wouldn't come in, wouldn't come in. And then we got notification that the IRS adjusted our tax return, and we got $60 back. Yeah, so I'm not really in a big hurry to uh, to file, because that's really stupid anyway. But um, this year, it's just, it's, it's, like I said, I'm not trying to put fear. I'm just being realistic. Um, you can already see what's happening. Um, you know, with the gap, the oil reserves and stuff that I'm not filling them up. Well, that's not good. Uh, you know, all they have to do is open the Keystone pipeline back up. Wouldn't that solve a lot of problems? I would think so. I, I mean, I'm maybe, not a, I'm real. not a political analyst or don't know too much stuff about that. But to me, that seems like it would be, oh, thank you. Nice shirt. Mm -hmm. He said to me, um, to me, it seems like that would be the smarter, mm -hmm. I mean, a better option. But they don't want to do anything for us. They forgot the people. They forgot that they work for us, the people. Uh, they're corrupt. Well, that's because they're more concerned about taking money and putting it into their pockets uh, instead and of helping they're, us out. They're addicted to power. Uh, mm -hmm. They think they're smarter than us, that as peasants don't have the brain power to make our own decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's a lot of the problem. So um, I would continue prepping. Um, and you know what? One of the reasons I was telling you guys about how I was feeling and that I was just like, I wish I didn't know and understand what's going on in the world and stuff. It's just because I know some of you guys are probably feeling it too, the burnout and stuff. And people have been saying for years, oh, this is going to, you know, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. And nothing has happened. So I think there's some preppers, maybe not you guys in here in general, but some that are just like, okay, nothing is going to happen. I'm done with this. It's, it's wasted so many years of my life, whatever. Well, like and what I'm trying to say is don't, give up and and stop because i think this year is really going to be a turning point for a yeah. lot of people and i'm hoping a lot more people realize this um because i mean it's just getting hard even just going to the grocery store and getting things you used to get like last year the same things it's just going up oh you're welcome. Thank, she said, thanks, Kelly and Ramble, for this. I, I, it was in two parts. That's why I was trying to figure it out. Um, yeah, actually, um, I'm thinking about uh, taking the weekend off of a break from things and stuff. Here's another problem that I personally probably am having. We started YouTube uh, a little over a year ago. It was January, basically, of uh, last year so when we started actually doing YouTube uh, and doing YouTube I kind of have to pay a little bit more attention to what's going on in the world uh, news and different things so I'm tuning into a lot of stuff and getting a lot of different information and it's kind of giving me like information overload 
And it's like, there's just so much stuff all the time. And I'm having to see it all and kind of, you know, figure out what does this mean and stuff like that. So I think this last year has been just a little bit more stressful for me personally with that. Um, so I am going to take the weekend probably to just not even deal with any kind of, um, you know, just take a break from the YouTube and stuff like that. Um, I, I'd like to build that hot uh, half wall in front of our front porch uh, before my surgery. Well, maybe going outside and just doing some work too, or something like that. You know, uh, just pick, pick getting out in nature and stuff like that would be good go too. Go pick some of uh, those pallets and build that chicken coop. Yeah, yeah, we we got a whole bunch more chickens. Um, eh, about a month ago, maybe they're like a month old, so they're about old enough now to get out in the chicken coop and stuff. But uh, we we're deciding we need to get a we need a bigger chicken coop because we've got so many now and stuff. So I think we're just going to build this one with some pallets and stuff. There is a possibility that we might try. I don't know how good I'll do at it, but try filming the process a little yeah. bit of building it and stuff like that. Just, you know, to put it up and see if you guys just give you guys some ideas of um, maybe to build one yourself and stuff. Um, yeah. I think we can get it, make it a lot cheaper than if we were to buy one and stuff. So that well, would be a good, nice Thing to do to get away from everything too well it's like uh i just found someplace locally that i can get uh pallets that look brand new mm -hmm. for two dollars a piece mm -hmm. yeah so that's pretty good uh, pallets are really nice if you guys can find pallets at uh some lumber yards or something like that sometimes you can get them for free we've got a lumber yard over here um uh, yeah that they, they they were pretty damaged and stuff but yeah. you can break them apart and use them for different things they also had like pieces of wood and stuff they weren't in the best shape but they were free so yeah. you know you can find stuff like that sometimes so just look around and stuff and, um uh, tuesday it's kind of like right now i'm a little handicapped with my arm but uh, Tuesday, I go see the surgeon, and I think we'll probably discuss when I'm having my surgery. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling for a little bit after the surgery, I'm gonna complete. I'm gonna be completely useless as, as being handicapped. Yeah. So that's another thing too is we're a little bit stressed. I mean, the surgery is not shouldn't be a big deal. Um, it's you know, I mean, I, I'm not saying it shouldn't be a big deal. It's gonna hurt and stuff like yeah. that. But afterwards, um. He's probably going to not be able to do much or do anything with his arm for a while. So I, I, we're I trying to get done with stuff as soon as possible. Yeah, so. I, don't, I don't want to do more than the doctor will let me do, but I am, uh, I will be very motivated to, uh, on my recovery. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You need to take the time. Um, how much time do we got? We got 12 minutes or so. Um, also, okay. Getting back to, uh, this year. Um, so you guys, if you're feeling burnt out and stuff, take some time away from watching videos and stuff. Um, do something relaxing too. Um, we're both artists. I haven't actually done any art since we've been here and we moved here in August and I've done three pencil drawings before, before that, especially when he was working, um, he's retired now and stuff. So I, I didn't say retarded. I know. Oh, <laughs> I guess I said retired. Um, but when he was working, I was doing like one painting a day. I mean, I was like doing a lot of creative stuff. And since he's been home, I haven't. And since we moved out here, I just really haven't done that. And I think I'm going to take some time to do that because for me, that is relaxing. I want I want to do some more pencil drawings. I also want to do <clears throat> another oil painting canvas of uh, another the red and black horse that I did before. Only try to make it better this time. And you guys, um, if you think that you want to get into doing art, but you're not, you feel like you're not creative or something like that, that's not true. I, I can guarantee you because that's how I had felt until I actually started doing it. Um, and, you know, I don't draw the best. He's really good at drawing. I don't, I just do more abstract stuff, but I want to work on some other stuff too. Um. You guys, you know, you can buy stuff at the Dollar Tree. I know it's dollar twenty-five now, but you can buy, um, you can buy canvases, you can buy paint, all that stuff. So just get something and maybe just sit back, put some music on, and just you know, 
see what what the mood takes you to or something like that. I, I really suggest trying Enjoy. that. You, you don't have to be a perfectionist. It's not about being having a perfect piece of art. It's just about the process and enjoying it and liking it. So that that's just another. I think I might want to buy a couple of models. <laughs> I'm as creative as a phone pole. I doubt that. Do what? I doubt that. Oh, yeah. De whoops. Yeah, definitely. We will um, keep you updated on what's going on next and stuff. Like I said, his, uh, uh, he has an appointment Tuesday to discuss, you know, they finally, the VA is so difficult, man. No. It took him forever to get the imaging to the orthopedic because we're going through a civilian not through the va for Thank the orthopedic goodness. yeah um but it took them forever so they couldn't actually determine what needed to be done until they saw the mri imaging and stuff like that so they finally got it in last week or this week this, uh, i don't know when they got it in yeah. but it's scheduled an appointment for tuesday so we'll see what's going on and i i enlisted some help on my uh <laughs> letting ai do my drawing <laughs> i enlisted some help from a company that would uh, that is uh, working or trying to get VA to increase my disability rating and i've got a VA sent me for a cnp exam in the near future anybody that knows anything about VA, uh luckily they're going to send me to a, a civilian person the VA doctors uh, uh, deny, delay, and hope you die. Yeah, it, it's been a real, and we've talked about the struggles that we've had many times on here. Um, that's another thing, and all of you guys are just great and wonderful, um, but I feel like I want to be honest and upfront with you with what is going on in our lives because I want to show you that we're don't real bore people. You, and yeah, I don't want to bore you with stuff, but like, you know, with me feeling a little like just stressed out about all this and stuff, I can guarantee that I'm not the only one that feels like that. And that's why I just want to bring it to your uh, attention that it's okay. Oh, I, I want to, I don't want to hide anything from anybody. I want to be mm -hmm. an open book. You, you know what? What? what i'm about yeah and um so we'll talk about prepping again for a little bit so um just keep you know when you find sales on stuff that's when i suggest you get it because prices are going up so much so if you find like say canned corn you know for 50 cents a can um that's a pretty good deal right now so i would say you know just stock up on things like that you know whenever you see a, a deal get it i mean we're not to the point yet where you need it right right now and i think that's what some people are thinking is they're like they go out they spend extra than what they would have to because they pay full price for something when it's not a necessity at the moment you know what i'm saying yeah. eventually prepping will be obsolete when there's no nothing else you can prep when shelves are empty they're not getting restocked that's when there's a problem oh, and yeah. that's when you can't get anything anymore but yeah it's like I, i've said before um uh okay um uh, make have two plans uh if you're if you think that uh we're in the end time and we're about to start the tribulate the tribulation uh, -huh. uh you need to plan for i think mid trip uh plan for the next three and a half years but also plan for the next 30 years you can't you can't um uh, bankrupt your retirement because you think the world can that, that's a really good point because like with the y2k thing um and there might have been some other times since then i can't remember right offhand but people were literally thinking it was the end of the world and they were uh taking out all their savings they were buying i mean just doing some crazy things um quitting jobs i mean all, all kinds of stuff like that you know you have to keep living your life and yeah. living it however you feel like nobody can tell you how you should be living your life or what you should be yeah. doing but definitely do not go out and charge up all your credit cards get bank loans and things like that for stuff because you feel like you know you need all this stuff now yeah right? like, like that's the biggest thing is just 
you know, pace yourself. And if stuff. you plan for the tribulation in three and a half years, and in three and a half years it doesn't happen, uh, you might be screwed. Oh, like if you uh, put all your, put all your money and uh -huh. stuff into stuff, and yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, just you know, right now things are looking mm -hmm. really scary. There's a lot of things going on, and I think a lot too many people. But be a good cheer. Too too many people. On YouTube lately, content creators won't mention names, but too many of them are pushing too much survival gear and different things like that. Um, and it's like, if you really think something bad is happening, why on earth are you saying, you know, okay, well, the world is ending in three days, buy this, and you'll get it in three weeks. I mean, really, it doesn't even make any sense. Well, but how many, how people many, people are buying into it. People are buying into the fear. How many times did it say in the Bible, don't be afraid? 365, uh -huh. I think. So every day of the year, basically, it said, do not fear. So don't let fear guide you and dictate what you do. I think that's... <laughs> yeah, she knew who I was talking about. One of them, yeah. Um, don't and, let fear guide you and dictate what you do because when you're led by fear, you might do some things that you wouldn't ordinarily do, and they're not necessarily good things. At the time, you might think it's a good thing, but later on, you'll be like, oh, that was really stupid of me to do. Um, that's, that's the biggest takeaway I can say uh -huh. from it all is don't let fear guide you in your decisions. And um, if everybody could do me a huge favor. Uh, some people wouldn't want to do it. Um, as you go through your day, look at the people that are around you and realize that there are people that are suffering. And if you see somebody that is really suffering and you might have the possibility to help them out a little bit, you know, you got a $5 bill in your pocket or whatever, and there's a homeless person. Either go buy them food or give them money. Um, and, and you say, well, if I give them money, um, they'll buy drugs, which is valid. But, you know, just uh, try to help other people. And, and not, what they not do even, with the help is up to them. Not even money-wise, but um, just... Try to have a, a good heart. And you never know if someone just needs to hear a message that you give them. You don't know what they're thinking or what they're feeling. And if you just make them smile or make their day, well, you yeah. might have just stop them from doing, I'm not going to, uh, unaliving themselves or something like yeah. that. Well, there are well, many instances where I've, I've seen and heard of people saying something to someone and they're like, you you just say, I was really depressed and yeah. thinking about, do you know, and just your kind words helped me. So just remember, always be kind. I'll be wary and be aware of your surroundings and what's going on, because not everybody has uh, good intentions for you. So be aware of that yeah. and be cautious. Well, but give, give people a smile. Give mm -hmm. them, open the door for them. You know, random acts of kindness. Has a I agree with that, Katrinka. Um, if more people would go around and maybe just carry like little tiny Bibles with them or something uh -huh. and go up to someone and say, you know, do you know about Jesus? Do you know that he, he you know, and try to teach them about salvation, give them a little Bible. You're, you're, that's more important, I feel, than giving someone money because your salvation is a lifelong thing. You're saved forever with that. Uh, money comes and goes. I think the number one prep is having Jesus in your life. Mm -hmm. I, I had a, a, a convenience store that I used to go to, and I was moving out of town, and, and I told the clerk that I was moving out of town, and she said, oh, so like, whenever you come to the store, you always have a smile on your face, and you lighten my day because of your cheerfulness. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it can have a ripple effect. It can pe change people's day, uh, sometimes even change their lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So 
All right. Well, we wow, we're actually at seven o'clock. I am oh, wow. that we were talking. Oh, that long. Long and, I know. I'm sorry really, to you <laughs> we really didn't have any specific topics, but man, we we were rambling. Hey, Rabbit, you came in now, and we're about to be leaving. That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> but um. <laughs> That's funny, Mama Jen. If I had a dollar for every time I've been called a Bible thumper, I'd be rich. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, but you know, like we're saying, I mean, it's it's just important to get the message out there, get the words out there, be kind to people. Um, and the main thing is get off your phones and stuff when you're walking, when you're at the store, when you're out. Public, get off those phones and turn your head around and keep your head on a swivel because you never know. And especially, we'll, we'll be back here uh, Monday too to talk during the eclipse. But if you guys don't show up to our live stream um, on Monday, that that's fine. I understand people got things going on and stuff. Um, but just remember for that day and, and all days, but on that day, just be more aware of what's going on around you. Um, because like we were saying the other last week, uh, if you've got a group of people and you're like all watching the eclipse, mm -hmm. maybe take turns looking, one person looking around, because if you're staring up at the sky for four minutes and you're not seeing what's going on around you, people can do a lot of stuff in that amount of time. Mm -hmm. So it's just a little warning, you know, just be aware of what's going on. Hey, Papa's farm. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a reminder just to be aware of stuff. And because people might not even think about that, you know, yep, yep. I think the problem that we're going to have to worry about the most is going to be man-made things and just people acting like idiots. You yep. know, they're, they're just going to think that they can do whatever they want or whatever. I think that's, that's going to be the main problem. There may be other things. Too soon to tell. We'll have to find out. But you guys, just please be safe out there. And I do two things for me. Do random acts of kindness. Plant trees. <laughs> yes, that's a good one, too. Um, and you guys have a wonderful night. And we will see you next week. And which, what? Uh, eclipse or before that? Well, no, we'll see you Monday. And then if you're not here for Monday, then we'll see you guys on Thursday. But you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. All right. God bless you. Have a great night. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye.